Peace, everyone. This is Kai Shane with the 45 Fitness and Strength Channel. Thanks for tuning in. Trying to play catch up with these video uploads. If you've been keeping up with my channel, thanks for coming back. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, just a quick update as to what's going on. I am still training for a powerlifting meet and doing this experiment where I'm training at Planet Fitness. Uh, I don't want to explain it every video, so I'll just put a link in the description of the original video in which I explain how I ended up here and why I'm doing this to begin with. This video is just going to show a few clips of a bench session and a deadlift session that I did uh, about a week ago. Again, I'm playing catch up on these video clips. Sorry about the delay. Uh, I work at the post office and if you've been paying attention to the news, things are kind of crazy around here uh, right now, this little election and all that stuff going on. So the meet is on November 14th. And as I said, I'm experimenting here. This next set that you'll see, I think my heaviest bench set of this day is my first time using the Titan Ram in a long time. I mean, it's been probably a, a year or more since I've used this, it's similar to a slingshot. And I don't have any way of proving this, but I believe there's a chance that there's this may be the first time a device like this has been used in a Planet Fitness. Uh, if not the one that I go to, then probably any Planet Fitness at all. So that was the heaviest set of the bench uh, that I did. I got into some assistance work after that. And most of this is going to be on machines. Uh, if you don't know or if you're not familiar with Planet Fitness, they don't have any barbells in there. But they do have some fixed barbells. They go up to, I think, one at 60 pounds. And the same with the dumbbells, they top out at 60 pounds. But the machines, you can actually get uh, some pretty good work in as far as assistance exercises on these machines. So that's what I've been making use of along with the Smith machine. Try my best to make the most out of this training cycle before we get on the platform for the first and only time in 2020 on November 14th. Considering where I'm training, I don't think you'll find any of these assistance exercises uh, particularly surprising. You know, pull downs, uh, seated rows, cable rows, uh, pressing machines. Though that's pretty much the bread and butter of my upper body assistance work. Just trying to do presses and rows and pulls from different angles uh, to get as much muscle and strength as I can. Right now, I'm weighing about 200, 211 and a half pounds, or, or to be very specific, 211.6. That's what my scale's been saying for like two yep. or three weeks in a row. I weigh myself when I wake up every Sunday morning, and it's. I feel yeah. like I should be gaining a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll go through my diet in another video, but... Um, at least I'm not losing any weight. And considering that I hike um, anywhere from eight to 10 miles a day at work, I'll take that as a win. Not a big win, but a win nonetheless that I'm not losing any weight during all of this. As a side note, I don't know if you can hear the music in the background, but that might be the single best thing about Planet Fitness so far. The music's pretty awesome. It's uh, the new the new rap music that gets played is stuff that I really don't listen to, but it sounds okay. But a lot of older stuff that I Hitching. really listened to growing up on. Uh, there you go. That's pretty cool. I, I don't mind having that playing in the gym. And this drop set uh, was the last exercise I did on this bench slash upper body day. I didn't plan on this being a drop set. But that is some of the um, improvising that I've been doing. Um, I'm not doing a lot of work sets for any one thing. Actually, I'm basically working up to one very hard set that I'll either take to failure or I'll do as a cluster set or some, you know, some kind of rest pause scenario. Um, I really haven't been doing drop sets very much. And when I do them, they tend to be on some kind of tricep or bicep exercise but that was that 
Now on Saturday, the Planet Fitness is in Baltimore City. So Planet Fitness is. I don't know if that's a legit thing, but Planet Fitness in Baltimore City is not 24 seven. On the weekends, they close at 7 p.m. I got here um, at like 5.30, quarter to six. I didn't have time to do a lot, so I decided just to deadlift um, and get the most I could out of that. Actually, no, I got there like 6.15, so I had less than an hour. So I actually rushed through this. So considering how little time I was in the gym, I was pretty happy with this. One thing you'll notice is that I'm standing on two plates. For a while, I've been standing on just one plate, but after I went to my brother's, um, about a week before this, when I got to lift at his house, squatting, benching, and deadlifting with real a real barbell and real plates, I was able to kind of remember where the bar feels at the beginning of a normal deadlift. So I, instead of standing on just one plate, I decided to start standing on two, and uh, that feels a lot more like the start position for a legit normal deadlift. So that's what I'll be doing from now on when I deadlift in the Smith machine uh, to try to replicate that movement as much as possible. The single I'm doing here is actually the heaviest deadlift that I've done in the Smith machine since I've been at Planet Fitness. And again, I started training there in June. And um, when I started there, I had no intentions of competing in a meet. So I wasn't uh, really deadlifting particular, particularly heavy. Uh, this looks like 495, but you'll notice I have that marked as 450 pounds plus. And that's the notation I use for all these Smith Machine exercises. I just list the plate, the weight of the plate in my notes. Uh, the sticker on the machine, on the frame of it, I should say, says that the bar has 20 pounds, but I don't really trust that, to be quite honest, so I don't even count it. I mean, I know it's something, but rather than going with that and then finding out that it's really not that much or it's two pounds more or whatever, I just count the weight of the plates. You know, looking back at these clips, this is a lot of deadlifting for me in one day. Um, I mean, compared to what I've been doing recently, even back when I was at my normal gym, this is kind of a lot, especially a back off set of 10 reps. And this is the final clip in this video. I didn't feel too bad in the day or two after this session. So I may try to get some more deadlift volume like this in, uh, in the weeks the last few weeks heading up to the meet. Um, we'll see. I've been running a sleep deficit lately. I mean, like more than the normal sleep deficit I have. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's the end of this session, basically. Um, I'm going to try to get caught up again on these videos. If you've enjoyed this one, please help me out and give me a thumbs up, like the video. Also, if you want to keep up with this experiment to see how uh, my training for a meet at Planet Fitness goes, Make sure you click the subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can find out when the next video gets uploaded. I'd love to get some feedback from you, whether you think this is a good or a terrible idea. If you have any suggestions or whatnot, leave that in the comments for me and I'll get back to you. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.